Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another vlog. It is Monday today and uh, we're going to see what I get done. I have not done my to-do list yet. I have got a fair bit to do today. I need to actually package some of my eBay orders because I have been getting a few eBay orders over the last few days and uh, yeah, it would be good to obviously package those, label them up and then get them out at some point during this week. Obviously, as I mentioned, I'm not doing as many trips these days. Over the weekend, I didn't do a vlog but I did get a few bits and bobs done. We went for our essential shopping trip and also we had to pick up some bits for my glowing granddad so we went around there to drop those off. I read through my poetry book, in fact I did a few more poems as well over the weekend and I added to that as well so I need to reread re that last bit, that last section of it because I've not really read through that as much as I would like to. I also updated a few bits on my older poetry book as well. Yeah, did a few other bits and bobs so I don't know, it's just a blur at the moment, but I wanted to update you a little bit about what's been going on over the weekend. First job of the day is to reply to comments, because for some reason, my YouTube, or my, my app on my phone, isn't displaying comments, isn't dis displaying notifications for comments, which is really weird. I've had a couple of comments come through on the no notifications, but I've been thinking, I've been publishing quite frequently, surely I have more comments than this. Anyway, I go into my YouTube Studio app and then into the comments section and lo and behold there's loads of comments there. So I thought to myself, right, I uh, best get on uh, tomorrow morning and reply to a load of comments because I do like to reply to pretty much everyone or at very minimum, if you've put a little comment for me, I will just try and heart it. And yeah, as I say, I try and do that for pretty much everyone because I think it's nice, you know, I've, I've heard this from many, many other people um, and I'm just going to reiterate what they say really because it's my, it's my standpoint as well. If someone takes the time to do a comment, if you are a fairly small YouTube channel, you know, it's nice to respond and give that time back essentially. Obviously, if you've got let's say more than 20 or 30,000 subscribers, it's probably not viable. But if you've got anywhere between zero and 10,000 subscribers, something like that, depending on how active your user base, not user base, how active your audience is. I'm thinking of internet marketing or something there. I don't know I'm going into, into internet marketing mode. But you know, however, um, you know, it depends on how active your audience is. And so if they're really active, if you've got a really, really highly active audience, then you might only have 3,000 subscribers, but you might be getting an incredible amount of comments. But yeah, between about zero and 10,000 subscribers, it's definitely worth actually um, replying to some of those comments. So I'm going to do that now. I apologise if anyone has been wondering why I've not responded. It's simply that for some reason my notifications on my phone on YouTube are playing up or being weird at the moment. So I have just uh, added some stuff to my new poetry book and uh, I've just done my crypto stuff as well. Now I need to reply to those comments as I said. Uh, so yeah, I will get on and do that. Oh, it's so good to respond to all these comments. I'm responding to uh, a few on the uh, keep positive video. Yeah, it's so annoying that those comments didn't come through on my notifications I really like it when they pop through you know when you get a comment I mean if, if you are a youtuber yourself when you get a comment and you think oh, yeah Someone's responded to the video someone's interacted with it But when you're not getting those on notifications it really makes you think well, where is everyone? But it turns out everyone is right there, but YouTube is being a pain and not letting me in on the information now to go through the likely spam folder there. Yeah. Bloody spam. But then again, sometimes YouTube gets it wrong and it looks like this isn't spam. Good luck ads, good luck pal, you deserve it in reference to my quitting full-time reselling video. If you haven't already seen that video, you know the drill, go and check it out. And he says down here, have you reviewed my channel yet? I'm exp expecting a pretty good criticism. I think that's in reference to the ads review thing. And yeah, that's another thing that I forgot to do that I'm meant to be doing. I always, I'm doing so much at the moment that I forget what I'm meant to be doing. I know that literally makes, well, I wouldn't say no sense, but it makes little sense. But it makes sense to me. So, so long as it makes sense to me, it's okay. But yeah, I've got other, oh God, I've got so much to do. It's so crazy just every day more stuff to do, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to do that, I need to do the other, uh... 
So, another genuine comment that's been placed in the likely spam folder, and it's for this video here. Hey, there's a good little bit in this comment, though. Where is it here? Having been a long-term, uh, a long-time follower on a different account, I've noticed that you're an old spirit at heart. Um, possibly a conservative, uh, though you may not want to identify as such. Oh, am I a secret conservative? Put your comments down below, who thinks I'm a secret conservative? So this is basically the weekend sales, we've got uh, Connect 4 going out. It's okay, don't worry, it was just the bin and it's empty anyway, we're cool, we're cool. So I've got a Connect 4 there, I apologise about the lighting but it's just dark in here always. I've not even got, I've got lights in here but we hardly work. Um, I've got this levitation game, got that Jenga game that I was sorting out the other week. Got some headphones that actually were mine, but I just, I don't know why I've not got around to selling them, because I never use them, but yeah, I got around to selling them finally. Got some little pot here, studio pottery pot, something like that. Got a nice little tagged plush of a, uh, oh, what is it, Winnie the Pooh character, I think it's Roo or something, something like that. Got a little uh, Ghostbusters weird thing there, toy thing. Got a couple of uh, spode plates. Uh, and then I've got some uh, ponchos going out there as well. These I actually got for free, which was pretty cool. Still got loads of them. Actually, still got loads of them right there. There's a big box of them. So, uh, yeah, got to pack all these up now. So, my uh, friend's parents actually got me this for uh, my Christmas gift off them. I know you can't even see it very well there. But what it is, it's a round speaker. And it's, you know, waterproof and all the rest of it. And it's got this clip on it. And the, these racking have these little holes in them. So I actually use the clip and hook it on like that, turn it on obviously, and then get my phone out and obviously connect it up by, via Bluetooth and then have a little bit of a party in here while I'm packing. That's how you do it, boys. That's how you do it. I mean, yeah, okay, if you want to work smart, you could put an audio book playing through it so that then you're expanding your intellectual knowledge and prowess. But we're not like this. We're not like that. We're not someone like that. We are party people. So we put some tunes through that, some 90s solid dance, bubblegum dance tunes, and we get rocking while we're packing. Right, it is 20 to one. It is 20 to one. And look what I've done. I've done the old parcels, thank God. We're all there in the glory. Sitting on the, uh, actually, why do we even have that couch? It's so uncomfortable. Anyway, you see how thin they are? That's what makes it uncomfortable. Anyway, so, um, yeah, got my parcels done now. I need to get some lunch because, you know, when your stomach starts rumbling and the lactic acid builds up and it's starting to actually attack the wall of your stomach and that can't be good. So, yeah, I'm going to get some lunch now. Uh, and then I'll be back with you in a little bit. So now it is time to upload those printables that I did over the weekend to my Etsy store. I am on my Etsy store dashboard there. So I'm going to do that now. I've not listed on Etsy in, I want to say about five or six months, something like that. Maybe even a little bit longer. So yeah, it might take me a little bit to get my head around it again and realise all the keywords that I want to do and make sure everything's uh, on point basically with it. But yeah, I'm going to do that this afternoon and possibly even design a few more printables after that as well um, because I am in a little competition with someone uh, to get up to a certain number of listings on Etsy by I think I think we said the 3rd of April today is the 30th of March so maybe about four days away or something so yeah I'm working on that kind of with a little bit of priority obviously I'm doing other things as well so um, what I forgot to do yesterday with the printable designs is actually um, make a different size copy so what I've got to do now is go through the seven designs uh, in Photoshop again and redo the sizes and then obviously save them as a different file and then I can actually upload them to Etsy. But yeah, that's a bit annoying because it's an extra step that I forgot to do yesterday and uh, it just means obviously it's had to be carried over to today. It'll be done in a few minutes because it doesn't take a few minutes to change the size and everything and then just save them again. Um, but yeah, I need to remember that for in future. So I've now uploaded a couple of designs onto Etsy. I've got seven to do in total, so another five more from now. I'm actually going to go for my daily walk now. Uh, I just feel like I need to get out in the fresh air, get out there a little bit, um, and then I'll be refreshed for a bit 
more work this afternoon. So we just got back from the old walk. It is now actually 20 past three. Uh, so I want to get on pretty quickly and do those quotes and then obviously get to editing. And then you know what? It'll be it'll be tea time. To be honest, I think my editing I'll have to extend into the evening after tea. I mean, I, I don't know, it depends on how complex I want to edit the vlog. It probably won't be incredibly complex, but yeah, um, that'll probably end up extending into the evening. I do want to get some reading done at some point, although I, I say that I have done some uh, before the vlog started this morning, uh, sort of about eight, half eight, something like that. So yeah, it's not too bad. If I don't get any, any more reading done today, it's not terrible because I have done a bit, but I would like to do a little bit more in a little bit. Doing some listing on Etsy. This is the description that I have preset so that then I don't need to do too much work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we know Adam hates doing work. Duh, 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 duh. So there was a bit of a change of plan actually. I was looking at my Etsy store after I'd done those listings of course and I kind of just felt that some of the listings weren't up to par or that I just didn't feel they were very good quality and when I did them months and months ago I kind of thought they were pretty acceptable but now I'm looking at them and I'm thinking hmm I really should have been able to do better than that. So what I've done is I've actually pulled off 33 listings off my Etsy store. I had a 103 listings or something up, all digital downloads of course. So I pulled off 33 listings and I did a full rearrange of my store as well. So what you can do on Etsy on your uh, store page is you can actually click the rearrange button and you can rearrange all your listings manually like that. Now it does take a bit of time um, but I really do like the new look of it and all the listings that are on there I am happy with and I would just about go to say that I'm proud of them. I wouldn't say I'm really proud of them but yeah they're just on that line where I'm, I'm happy that they're there. I'm, I'm fairly proud of them. Um, I just don't like having things on my store. Oh I better turn around here because the light's going again. Um, oh saying that the light just go. I never get good light here. Saying that uh Oh, I've, I've literally forgot what I've said. Right, I forgot what I've said. That's it. We're going to have to end this segment here. So I've reviewed the footage from that previous clip and I know what I was trying to say. Basically, I don't like having rubbish or trash or dross or whatever you want to call it on the store. I like having fairly decent quality. And for a while, I kind of thought I did but I really didn't and so I'm just I'm just better I just feel better for having more quality on the store over quantity essentially so I'm literally just starting my editing on one of the previous day's vlogs. It is fast approaching tea time though, um, so I don't think I'm going to get much of this edited at all before tea. Uh, I am actually really getting hungry as well. It's only, um, well, it's qu yeah, quarter to five, so it's not quite tea time yet, but I am getting hungry, I tell you. Um, so, yeah, uh, I probably won't get much of this edited before I just have to bow out and say, right, I've got to have some tea. Um, so, yeah, I'll have tea and then I'll do the rest of this editing. Right, so I'm just waiting for the old tea to do. I'm having vegetable fingers, sweet potato fries and peas. That's how we do it in this household. Anyway, oh, well, same that. My mum and dad aren't having that. They're just having a boring fish pie. See, you look at mine and mine's all colourful and creative and you know, sexy and everything, you know, sweet potato fries, not normal fries, and lovely processed peas, and, and then vegetable fingers, you know, not just random vegetables, vegetable fingers, you know, it's out there, it's different, it's creative, it's liberal, whereas my mum and dad, they're very boring, almost conservative-like, given what they're thinking of, oh, we'll just have a bit of fish pie. I oh, know, one day we might even grate a little bit of cheese on the top and put it back in the oven for five minutes just so the cheese goes golden brown on top. Ooh, how exciting. Yeah, so anyway, I'm here watching the uh, Sidemen podcast, waiting for my tea. It's a shame we can't do no more videos on the channel and stuff at the moment. It's like, oh, it affects everything, doesn't it, this? But uh, yeah, still, it'll be alright, I'm sure.